Good morning. It's raining. It started raining at midnight, so uh, it's not a very heavy rain, but uh, looks like it's going to be a wet day. Oh well. Um, as well as raining, it's also 10 degrees. That's it. So it's actually in some ways a good thing because if I'm going to be wearing my rain jacket, I don't want it to be too hot. So oh, it's not every day can be blue skies. So there are scorpions. That was under my tent. There's the squish marks on my tent. Poor little scorpion chose the wrong place to go. Realized from my campsite, yee I can see the mountains. Good morning. It is day 12. Um, yesterday was an alright day. Um, some really neat variety of terrain yesterday. Um, then to Mike's place after overshooting it. Uh, Mike's place filled up with water, had some good social time and then moved on and I did another uh, four miles um, and found a neat little campsite nice and flat um, pretty sheltered from the wind which was good because it rained last night um, it wasn't heavy rain, it was just a light patter, but from about midnight um, through to about 6.30. Um, and I got up just before 7 um, and it was easing off and then by the time I needed to pack everything up, uh, the rain had stopped. Um, you can see the mountains behind me, um, still pretty cloudy. But the direction I'm going, blue sky. So hopefully um, it will be an okay day. I started, thought I was going to wear my raincoat, but don't need it. Um, today um, it's another 14 miles to get to the water point. Um, doesn't look to be anything particular to aim for or any particular highlights today. So. It'll just be a, a nice um, transit day, tooling along, and I'm going to take it easier today. Shorter steps, easier pace, and hopefully that'll be good for my shins. Vegetation is still wet, so if I brush past anything, wet shorts. Nice little track, and quite like these little trees, got a bright green colour. It's still a bit windy and that wind has got a bit of a chill to it. It's so neat walking along, looking up at a snowy mountain. Probably tomorrow or the next day I might reach the snow. So I'm um, looking forward to that. I think it might turn out to be a lovely day. I know the views are lovely. I'm taking it a lot easier in terms of pace. Um, and so far, no twinges on the shins. So long may that last. Yay! Here's the euchre of the day. Doesn't matter how often I see it, it's still pretty. I think this is the best conditioned gate I've seen yet. It's actually got wire each side. It's got a uh, clip. Though <laughs> the logic of the clip <laughs> clip catch slight issue. So I take that back. It's not the best gate. Cute! Look at all these little weeny flowers. They are tiny! So, for size, there is my trekking pole. <laughs> and they've got little droplets of water on them. I haven't seen them at this stage before. Interesting. The 
is uh, really getting close to blooming. Oh, that's going to be so cool if I get to see one of those flowering. We're somewhere between mile, probably around mile 35, and there's actually a stream with flowing water, which no one thought there was any water left in it. So this could have been from the rain last night, maybe. If so, it's going to dry up very, very quickly. And the trail's heading up there. It's an interesting looking thing. Don't know what it is, it's just hovering there. Hmm, this is a pretty section. Look at the little flowers on each side. White ones, purple ones, and up we go. Ooh. These are all along the side of the track now. I love the water glistening on the leaves. In a much more open area now. There's a whole lot more flowers around. Um, and yeah, not sure how long we'll be in this, but it's nice. A few more cacti coming back again. Ah, oh, such a lovely day. The, um, the wind is actually quite nice. This morning it was a bit too cold. Now the wind is actually lovely. Keep the temperature down. Um, I think it might end up being quite a hot day. There's a sign for Tool Spring if you don't want to carry so much water. It's a nice little area, lots of um, cactus. So my favourite cactus. I love those ones. Yucca. More flowers. More cactus. It's just beautiful. <laughs> really interesting terrain to be walking through. Look at the different colours of these. They almost look like a bird's nest. neat part. I'm enjoying this. Um, body's feeling pretty good today. Um, the shins a little tight but nowhere near as bad as yesterday um, and everything else is good. So hopefully my slower pace today is just giving the body a little bit more of a rest. Oh this tree's got berries on it. Cute. All over it. Sometimes I'm just plodding along, lost in my own thoughts, and then bang, you suddenly pick up on just how beautiful the scenery is again. <laughs> There's a nice little patch of flowers. Um, I just had a quite a long break. Um, energy's okay. Um, my right foot starting to get a little sore in a spot, probably above my fourth metatarsal. And worryingly, that's where it got a little sore on my Norway through hike. So I'm hoping it's not the same thing. Um, it didn't stop me hiking, it was just for the rest of the hike I could feel it. Um, sometimes it hurt a little, sometimes it didn't. So I'm hoping it's not the same thing. I think this is one of the um, water sources. Yep, it is full of water. A few dead flies in there, but it's full. So if you needed to, you could resupply from there. 
not sure if the flowers show up. They're really teeny, teeny flowers scattered along four different colours. <laughs> back. Trail goes much further around and then it's going to drop down below and it goes all the way down to the end and now I can see it starting to go back up, 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 up. I think there's another switchback in there somewhere as well. What a neat canyon. <laughs> I'm going to be seeing it for a little while. Just had my first rattlesnake encounter. Um, and that thing of bush there is a rattlesnake. And he didn't give me a lot of warning. It was, um, yeah, he sort of gave two shakes and then shook really hard and I bounded past because I couldn't see what it was. Um, that's as close as I'm getting. <laughs> Definitely not going too close to that. But in there is the rattlesnake. I don't know if you can see it or not. Poor little thing. I gave him a fright and he gave me a fright. Well, I wanted a good sighting of a rattlesnake. I just didn't want to be quite that close to it. Um, mustn't have been very attentive. I mean, by the time I heard that first noise, it was right down by my ankle. And, um, yeah, as soon as I heard that rattle go full on, I just leapt forward. Not, didn't know I could leap so far with my pack. Um, so, unfortunately there's no way to warn the people behind me on the trail. Because they're uh, miles and miles back. So hopefully he decides, the snake decides it's not the best place and moves somewhere else. But you just couldn't see him in the grass. So there you go, rattlesnake! Still winding up the side of this canyon. Heaps and heaps of flowers here. Um, flowers, neat shaped rocks. So um, I am keeping an eye on the grass a bit better now. Um, but this is cool. So I'm still buzzing about the uh, the snake. I'm glad I didn't pause when I heard it, because that would have put me directly in front of it, you know, 10 centimeters away. That wouldn't have been fun. So a scorpion today and a snake today. Today's the venom day. It's weird. This tree looks completely dead until that little bit. Oh, it's a really neat red colour. <laughs> cool. That one's pretty cool. Look at them all. This is so beautiful. All oh, these really neat rocks. Oh, lots of patches of purple flowers. There's some red things. Um, rugged. Big hills behind. <sighs> Cactus, beautiful. Look at the trail going. That's where I've come from. <laughs> Pretty cool. That looks like uh, a yucca, but it's red and it's got pink coming out of it. another fire bush as I'm calling it. It's actually got lots of little weeny berries. That's what's making it red. Now back on the trail 
I have just seen. Look at that in the far distance. That looks like real. Today is just absolutely beautiful. Nice and rugged. Look at that. Hills on hills on hills. Oh, it's so cool. And I wasn't expecting much from uh, this first deserty part of the trail, but if I'm impressed at this, can't wait to see what <laughs> this year is like. Because the supposed boring part has been anything but. I'm at mile 143 just before the road crossing and there's a water cache here. That's very nice, the trail angels. Um, oh yeah, there is still some water down there. Um, I don't need much, so I'm only going to grab about half a litre. But hey, thank you very much, Trail Angels. I think Brooklyn Ferry is a book. <laughs> is Mary's. She's got some camping spots around, um, some picnic tables, a line to dry your washing. There's a water tank just behind that tree. That's a little library in there. Um, it's John Muir of Whitman and Henry <laughs> Thoreau from a book. <laughs> And a cute little library. I've just left Mary's. Um, Mary is a trail angel with a property right by the trail. And she has put in a water tank, picnic tables, a shower, a toilet, washing lines. Um, and has a little library as well for the hikers. Um, and we were lucky enough that she was actually there. So she's given us a, a lot of good advice about the rattlesnakes and the um, cougars and all the other things on the trail. A little bit about the conditions coming ahead as well. Um, so it was nice to meet her um, and it's a nice little setup there as well. Um, but it's just a little early to stop for the night so I'm pushing on another two or three miles and then that'll be me. There's a vulture I think. Cool. At Mary's I uh, made the most of the toilet, um, had lunch and I washed my socks for the first time since Julian. Um, these trails are very very dusty and it's fine dust that gets through the shoes. So three rinses with the socks and the water was still brown. Um, I've put the wet socks back on and I'm pretty sure they're going to be dry by the time I get to my campsite. If not they'll have a final dry off um, before it starts to get dark. I was just talking to um, a hiker I caught up to on the trail. Her trail name is um, Late Blooming Hiker and she's 65 and this is her first trail which I think is fantastic. Uh, what a way to show that anyone can do it at any age. Oh, wow but back into the poppy area. Oh cool. Look at all these poppies. Oh and there's a whole hillside ahead full of poppies. <laughs> Look at them all down there. There's thousands and thousands of poppies all over this hillside. <laughs> 
I'm dropping down now and I've got less than a mile to the campsite which I think I'll stay at if it's not full um, so finishing the day on a downhill so I'm in the final stretch I've got uh, less than a mile to go so just over a kilometer and a, and a bit um, and it looks like it's a big downhill body actually ended up feeling a lot better um, than I thought yeah I was still having issues with the shin and um, my foot gave me a scare today but they funny enough after my snake encounter um, they all seemed to go away um, my shins only one of them I can even slightly feel which is really good um, so I think I need to remember to keep taking it easy for another week um, even if I feel good not to push um, and pick up the speed so yeah I'll still have to give the foot a good massage because that gave me a bit of a fright that pain in that certain spot um, but hopefully it was just one of the mental niggles you get in your first few weeks of uh, through hiking